the city of Pittsburgh. Everybody knows this infamous, famous skyline. We can figure out another way to come back, it don't matter. We're getting off here. Right. There's a uh, gas station if you want to stop to the left. So. Alright. Seven miles on this 422. All right, light come on. S spoke too soon. So we're out in the sticks, basically. We're just supposed to make the right, bro. So we're out in the sticks. Bike shopping. I'm going to go look at a couple bikes here. And hopefully soon, we're gonna make a move on something. My man Corey back here. I think he's recording right now, but he's back here on the H2. And we're out in the sticks as you can see. There's farm animals over there. It's an unfamiliar road, so I'm trying to take it as easy as possible. Even though I did tell him we were going to get a quick uh, we'll race 60 to 140, 60 to 130 or something. I'm trying to get him to give me a five bike hit. Basically a five bike head start. And see what I could do. Which I mean, he'll probably mop the floor with me. But it's to be expected. He's on the 2019 H2. So like I said, that's to be expected. Yeah, I can hear you. We're gonna be making a left up here. Making a left on uh, 108. I know, I, I exactly. The sticks isn't my thing. I mean, I can be close, you know, out on the outskirts of the city, but I, if there gotta be like something, store, gas station, that's, you know, five minutes down the road, like, I'll make a left. Make this right, make this right. Um, look like, yep, I seen it, yep. I got it, got it on video. <laughs> And I'm glad you asked about the tires because, you know, tires can go, over, over time can go bad. So, right. He wants to play! He wants to play! 
I don't know if he's seen what you had. Let him see what you got. Look, he's looking at it now like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> he's like, hold on a second, hold up. He's, sta he's staring at it. He's got his eyes locked. He ain't want no smoke. Nah, I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. We need to try to get a, a pull in on a straightaway. get you in back in the city and uh, did a couple pulls with uh, Corey on the H2 unfortunately uh, I um, got beat a couple times actually I did beat him once but he did give me a, a couple bike hit and he started in sixth gear I started in second but uh, like I said that's to be expected of a bike of that caliber Definitely to be expected. But we're on our way to go look at another bike. So hopefully uh, it might be the one for me. Stay tuned. So I just got finished looking at another bike. Um, I will insert the pictures and or video um, in this video. not really sure I'm kind of undecided at the moment I'm not really sure um, like I've been saying do I go 600 do I go 1,000 do I need a 1,000 do I wait until spring
springtime, what do I do? It could very well be nice until December. I don't know. But I do know that this bike here that I'm on is going to be going away in the next few days. Regardless. Um, I do want to get another bike. There's not a question or any way around that. I'm going to need uh, opinions on what I should go with. Um, I did look at a 08 CBR 600 um, graffiti edition. Uh, low price, but it does have an R title, which I've never dealt with an R title. So therefore, um, I'm just undecided at the moment. I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm really unsure. Like I said, I don't want to get junk. So, and I'm not being biased towards Honda either. Um, I have been looking at uh, Yamahas, I've been looking at uh, Gixxer 1000s and whatnot. So I'm not necessarily being biased towards uh, Honda, in no way. Um, I just know what I initially picked up in road and I know that it's served me pretty well over the last two years, two and a half years. So, it's going to be a hard decision here. I'm going to need some opinions, like I said. Leave some of your... We put some miles on today. I said, we sure put some miles on today. Yes, sir. Alright. Yes, sir, you too.